And so what brings us out to this neck of the woods for a third time this year? Well, technically third time, but only second time to do a real adventure at Minnesota's largest candy store. Well, this is my new travel companion, my 2020 Subaru Crosstrek Limited Edition. <laughs> That's what brought me out here. But not just this, that truck over there in the distance, in the background. The person in that truck is my good friend and member of Tommy Travels in the Mix. Hit the old join button, he's a first class Tommy Traveler. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Nomadic Hippies truck. And we are gonna do a little bit of a meetup here today and I could not be more excited. Well, hello once again, everyone, and welcome to another beautiful day for an adventure. And we are in front of the Minnesota's largest candy store one more time here this year to meet up with my great friend, Nomadic Hippie. He's been to Minnesota a few times before, and this is the first time we've ever gotten to meet up. And this should be super fun. If you are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels! This should be fun, you guys. Come on with me. Let's go see what there is to see. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. There's Nomadic Hippie shooting video on a Tommy Travels video. <laughs> Can't believe it. It's surreal. All the way from Florida. All the way from Florida. Here to Minnesota, and look at that huge, huge, huge building right there. And anytime I come here, even though it's the second or third time of the year, I always catch something new, and look at this guy, Jelly Belly. A brand new addition since the last time I was here. Otherwise, he definitely would have made the last video. Hello, Mr. Jelly Belly. Last time we saw all of these sharks and the... Oh, look at that one. They've got some great animatronics these days. Holy cow. <laughs> that almost looks like a real person walking by. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Ladies and gentlemen, Jar Jar Binks probably the most disliked character in the Star Wars universe. I see. Is your first time here? No, I've been here. This is my third time here, actually. We've been here 43 years. 43 years. 1978. We wow. opened, uh, it was actually our third store. We had a store that was um, six sheets of plywood on the side of the road. It's still roadside stand. And then, and then the next store is still there. It's got an apple in front of it. My mm -hmm. husband's dad has uh, ten children, mm -hmm. and uh, he's number six. Oh so my gosh! All the kids have worked here, but we joined his dad in business uh, twenty years ago. My so, goodness! Anyway, you guys have fun. Take yes. as many pictures as you want. I was going to ask, how long does it take them to paint all this stuff up well, here? This this set of artists it took them three months, and their names are right there. There's oh. eight artists, same artist. Same artist, only two more artists. That took five months. Have you been, have you seen that one? That's my favorite one, Gotham. Oh, the and Gotham one, yeah, that's Gotham. beautiful. Well, we couldn't find a Deadpool. We love Deadpool, it's funny. And there's no Deadpool statue yet, so it's just him coming. But then, this is a new set of artists from Minneapolis that did that one. We just thought, let's change it up a little bit. I like I like the fact that when you walk all the way through, you're seeing this, but then when you come back, then you see this. Exactly, exactly. That planetarium, that's what my son also, like, we call it the planetarium with the stars. Have you seen that? Yeah, because I, I was looking at the... Um, uh, you got a Star Lord, you got a baby bird on his shoulder, but then you got a big bird right beside him. Uh, yeah, really and I got a little teeny tiny baby one on my computer. Oh! Yeah. Uh, I, want, I want the TARDIS. <laughs> yeah, we just did, there was a TARDIS contest. They they usually run around the Twin Cities at a convention, you know, like everything. And they were having it, what's it called, virtual one this year. 
So we just did a video on that, and we have this guy that does some pretty cool videos. So we just gave it to the TARDIS people. You know how great that would be if you like had a door and you just put that in, so when they open it up, it is bigger on the I inside. I know. You should do that for the restaurant. We should. <laughs> However, we are landlocked. That's all swamp. That's U.S. Uh, Fish and Wildlife Federal, and we'd like to do some land exchange, but they say, how about you just give us your land? Make Once, the parking lot a little bit tinier. <laughs> we, have you ever been here in the fall? I've been here in the winter and the fall. Yeah, they're lined up down the highway, George, to get in. For the Halloween season? No, Pumpkins all just season. October, yeah. So it's crazy, but I'll let you guys get back yep. to work. Thank you very much. <laughs> And something else I didn't highlight last time I was here, it's pie time. Yeah! They make some awesome pies, freshly baked. And look at what we have here. Apple crisp, they have cherry pies and peach pies, rhubarb pie, that would be, oh, I love strawberry rhubarb. My gosh, these all look delicious. If you're looking for a good pie, freshly baked, out of the oven, double ovens, quadruple ovens, and there is a fine baker right there working at his craft. <laughs> this is a place to go for pies as well, not just candy. And underneath the stand-up comedian bear, we have a whole selection of honey goods. Raw honey, honey spoons, <laughs> honey pots. What's a teddy bear's favorite pasta? What? <laughs> Taglia Teddy. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. <laughs> Look at all of what this honey. What do you honey. call a boomerang that doesn't come back? What? A stick. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy, bear. Look at all of this honey. Hey, honey Milton, sticks. And I'm looking for Jim. So I put my head in this hole and I can't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now he's on fire. I had to wait I five minutes. I saw you there. <laughs> he won't stop. <laughs> he's trying to ruin my video now. Stare at Anna and Elsa. <laughs> I'm just trying to shoot a video. Dive right in and enjoy. <laughs> you're ruining my video. Stop it. <laughs> you're you're funny, but come on. <laughs> And so back to the honey fresh. How do you catch a fish with no fishing rod? <laughs> with your bare hands. <laughs> You're starting to irritate me now, Mr. Bear. You're starting to irritate me. Oh, uh, there's some honey. We're done. Oh, nomadic hippie. What do you have here, my friend? I can't pronounce this stuff. Tommy. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but it looks pretty tasty. Pineapple gummy candy? And I don't know what muscat is, but... We're gonna give that a shot. Muscat gum candy. Oh my goodness. All right. This here, the image says uh, you can't read anything on it, but you know what it is. Oh, yes. You know what that is. We do know what that is. It'll be interesting to see what it tastes like from over there. And it looks like uh, you can, there's probably instructions to do the, what do they call that? Teriyaki? <laughs> oh, teriyaki. Is that what it's called? What's it called? I'm not sure. Where they fold it into animals. Oh, origami. Origami. <laughs> yeah. Teriyaki not sounds teriyaki. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the mood for some pasta? How about some fettuccine alfredo? Or some whole wheat fettuccine? <laughs> they have it for you. <laughs> you don't even have to do the accent to buy it. You can get your, your Italian fix on here at Minnesota's largest candy store. And it is the Silver Surfer. I haven't seen you since the first time I was here, but good to see you again, my friend. Good to see you. And then we have this giant thing right here. I think in my first video, I called it a transformer, but it is not that, it's something else. If you know what it is, leave it in the comments below because I already forgot. <laughs> but it's lighting up right as I put them on screen. That is great timing. Anybody remember candy cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> I thought those were a thing of the past, a relic never to be seen again. But yes, they do have them right here. <laughs> My gosh, I haven't seen, wow, unbelievable. I think I saw these in the first video with my best friend Alice, but they still have them here. They're still hanging in here. Even in the cancel culture that's going on these days, they still have them. Oh my gosh, 1960s hippie, 
Nostalgic, what does it say? Nostalgic candy mix. We got the candy necklaces. We got uh, lollipop. We got the lips. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> lips. <laughs> got the lips in there, man. Look at that, all that goodness. Oh, wow. Hippie got quite a haul here today. It Look was, at this. You blew me away, Tommy Travels, pulling in that parking lot. I was leaving. <laughs> oh, you were actually leaving. <laughs> I, was, I was leaving and I seen you. And I, I go, there's a vlogger. There's somebody vlogging. I recognize that guy. It was Tommy. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Pretty amazing. You were doing your live stream and I was at home just kind of chilling out. And um, I saw you're at the candy store. And I was like, you're going to go live. That's going to take you an hour. It'll take me about that long to get down there. And you've been here to Mall of America and to all sorts of places close to me and we've never met up so this I, I was hoping that it'd be a, like a Wisconsin Dells meetup actually oh well we could do that too one of these times one of these times but yeah look I, and this is an amazing place I'm so glad I seen you on video do it I've only been here once before and it was Halloween season and it was so packed and so busy like the lady inside was talking about and that uh, it wasn't worth it but now now it's empty it wasn't earlier, but it's empty now, and it's like, perfect. Yeah. I'm walking around with one of my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> it's awesome. You're an influencer. You're a YouTube influencer. <laughs> and so are you. You're getting to come up with a staying in somebody's house, and... Can you believe that? No, that is unreal. I don't know how you, you get these connections. It. I don't... Uh, well, uh, I was part of Google Glass. My Google Glass are on the truck. Um, I was part of the Google Glass team with Google for since 2012. And a lot of a lot of the team disbanded, and so. Um, but like Susan became like the head of YouTube now, so she's like top top of the YouTube oh, team. Oh, okay. And then Li or Libby is I don't know what she's doing, but I have Virginia is working remotely for Google themselves, and uh, we just became kind of a, a close family, and it's kind of nice. It's kind of like the YouTube family. Yeah. You know, and but ever since uh, the Google X team disbanded. Uh, I was been trying to fill that void, and YouTube's been doing it. That's so, great. Uh, and I guess it's been doing a lot because those people are smart, and they got the gigs, the executive gigs. Me, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got some great followers too. Thank you. I was, I was uh, like, I was, I finally started getting involved in, in your followers, like Miss Stephanie, mm -hmm. and uh, when she did her boyfriend thing the other day, it was like. I, I never knew he lived in the States. Yes, in Texas. Yeah, so she lives in Australia. He lives in Texas. Yeah. And then and she played the most beautiful song, and I was going, oh, wow, this is like the greatest birthday party to be a part of. And it's like, and then I started following other people and checking out everybody's streams. It's so hard to keep up, but I'm so glad to be a part of this community also. And a an vice versa. Executive. <laughs> and a, no, you're first, first class. class. What, is that different? Yeah, first class is, you're tied with Killer Whale for the top of the food chain Killer for minutes. Whale. Yes. <laughs> you guys are sitting side by side. He's got some company up there now. Last question here for you, because I know we have to get going here, but uh, I just wanted to give you a chance to promote anything coming up on your channel that you can think of. Well, obviously, Tommy, we got this amazing place. That's right. Look at this. <laughs> I'm just sitting out here waiting for my future wife. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so uh, nothing on this channel so much except for this. Mm -hmm. uh, I am starting my second channel. It's already been there. I have like 500 subscribers already, like 1,300 videos, but I, I let it die about a year ago. But I'm revamping it and doing a, a YouTube cookbook for content. Oh. Uh, so uh, we all struggle for content sometimes, and I figured why not reach or change my channel to going live once a week and talking about content going just like if it was a cookbook because like see you have a pizza you need certain ingredients to make a decent pizza yeah sometimes to make a video you need the same thing cool ingredients so I'm, I'm thinking about doing that and also channel audits so if you want to come onto the channel I'll pull your channel up we'll go through your banner banner I need to learn those words <laughs> yeah so we're gonna do the banner we will do uh, your thumbnails check out your SEO a little bit make sure you're using the proper keywords search phrases uh, and, and uh, tags and uh, and just go from there and if you guys have any ideas for content you're more than welcome to leave them in the description to add to whatever we talk about yeah and uh, just trying to help everybody else out it'll be kind of a it's gonna be kind of a grow channel 
in disguise. <laughs> but you could do live streams and then demonstrate this is how you do this and Can you, you do see that? me try and demonstrate stuff live? <laughs> <laughs> I'm clicking, making myself disappear. The screen goes black. Oh, God. Wrong well, button. Hope everybody's still there when I come back. Well maybe that could be the first chapter in the cookbook to learn how to do that. <laughs> yeah, just don't go live. Practice before hitting that broadcast button. That's right. <laughs> And I'm probably going to be doing a few more videos since now we are allowed to record live or stream live using StreamYard. Mm -hmm. And so I definitely want to test that a little more. I'm kind of hoping that they put the green screen on mobile devices because then you can pinch the zoom and crop in on that green screen. A little oh, bit yeah, yeah. And uh, I would like them to be able to make it easier to flip cameras from front facing to rear facing. Yeah. Because uh, that, that could be a game changer for people that are out and about wanting to go live through an establishment like this. It would have been great to do that today. Actually, why didn't I do that today? Oh, yeah. because I, it's Saturday. I go live on Saturday. That's right. right. You just went live. People will be like, Dang. what are you doing again? <laughs> I'll be stepping over everybody. But it well, was a pleasure meeting you, sir. You too. Nomadic Hippie. You got quite a haul. I'll be looking forward to seeing a couple of videos on this stuff for you. Look at that. Uh, pure that? whip it. <laughs> whip it. <laughs> whip it good. It should say deep. Instead of dare, it should say Devo's whip it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, thank you so much for being part of my video today. And our this was so awesome awesome to meet you and it's the first time and definitely not the last that's oh, for sure definitely sir yes thank you so much this bump. Bump. there you and go you don't have to elbow we're friends <laughs> yeah, right. that's right <laughs> thanks a lot sir you're welcome <laughs> and there goes the nomadic hippie back to his truck and back on his travels this has been an absolutely fantastic day here at minnesota's largest candy store what a fun time we got to get an interview with the wife of the owner, got to have a nice chat with Nomadic Hippie and see some awesome things inside that we haven't seen before. And what a beautiful sunset view this is turning out to be. If you guys like what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. And thank you guys so much for all of the support that you've given me so far. And until next time, Goodbye, Nomadic Hippie. I hope to catch you on the flip side. If you want to gather honey, don't knock over the beehive! <laughs>